What's up guys, Michael here, coming to you with another video on how to fix your Kindle Fire in situations where it's not responding, it's freezing, maybe you have a black screen, it's not powering up and you're not sure what to do. So let's get started with that. So my first step would be always to plug it into the charger, make sure you have the power coming through the cable to the device, okay? Um, and plug it in. Now sometimes the cable may be not working. This is using a, a standard USB-C cable. So you should have another one. Give it a shot and make sure it's properly snagged into the place and that it's charging. Now once you left it for a couple of hours maybe or while it's charging we can try a couple of resets. So what I would always do as the first reset when the device is not responding is just hold the power button for 30 or so seconds. You can do this while the device is plugged into the charger as well and see if there's any response whatsoever on the screen. Now if you get the Amazon logo or the, the device is booting up, that's great. You should be able to successfully get it to work. Now if that's not the case, I would go straight into the hard reset, which would be um, holding the volume down button and the power button at the same time. So we'd be holding those two together. And when you hold them, you should have at some stage Amazon screen coming up then we are into this recovery mode screen and what I would try to do first is probably reboot system now so that's a soft reset see if that's gonna get us the device to work and this is not gonna this is not as invasive as wiping data and putting device into factory reset so I would always try something less invasive first and if that doesn't work then just go with a hard reset you can also try wipe cache partition. So if you're having some issues with battery percentage, um, kind of maybe the device really, the device battery is playing up, you can try to wipe cache partition. It's not gonna hurt the device, that's for sure. So you can actually wipe cache partition first. Um, and again, volume, volume up and down is for moving the selection or moving the line across and then power button is for selecting that option. So are we sure we're gonna wipe partition and you can see cache wipe complete and then you can go ahead with wiping that the data factor reset. And again, that's gonna wipe the all the user data. So be aware of that. But obviously if the device is not working, that may be your last option. Now, what to do if that doesn't work? If that doesn't work, I would probably recommend contacting um, Amazon and if the device is under limited warranty, you should be able to get it um, to be replaced by Amazon. 